for the high chocolate protein pudding. Hi Warriors, it's Hannah here and welcome back to another video. Today, as the end of veganuary is approaching, I decided I'd share with you my favourite easy, high protein vegan snacks because where do vegans get their protein? The first recipe I'll be sharing is my favourite apple cinnamon nutty granola followed by a silky tofu chocolate mousse and lastly my all-time favourite banana amaretto loaf. Definitely stick around till the end because these three recipes are all definitely worth it. I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed, definitely go do that now and let's get to those recipes. The first recipe I want to share with you is my granola. I make this exact same recipe pretty much every week. After having received loads of cooking apples just a few months ago during the apple season and having cooked up a whole batch of applesauce and filled the freezer with it. This is actually my last jar, so I might have to get more creative after this. Anyway, for this recipe you will need some nuts and seeds, some dried fruit, oats, gram or chickpea flour, cinnamon and some optional toppings such as chocolate or cocoa powder or literally anything else you want to add. I also love to add some peanut butter for some healthy fats and some extra protein and just a tasty flavour. Anyway, it's granola, the sky's the limit. This recipe is really easy and all you have to do is just combine everything together, really get in there with your hands and then spread it out thinly on a baking tray. Into the oven it goes at 160 degrees for about 40 to 50 minutes. When it's almost done, add the nuts and the dried fruit and then allow it to cool before topping some high protein yogurt or a high protein smoothie bowl or a high protein chocolate pudding. Stay tuned for this next recipe. For the high protein chocolate pudding, all you need is chocolate and silken tofu. Optional is also some dates or some very ripe bananas or some maple sugar, just for a bit of sweetness. It really depends on the chocolate you use as well. The darker the chocolate, the more bitter it is and you might need some more sweetener. It's really up to you. Personally, I use dates. However, I use 100% dark chocolate, as that is the only thing I have in the house right now. It was a little bit, well, bitter. So I decided to add some chocolate sauce and a bit of banana. Have that as my breakfast the next day. As I said, this recipe is pretty straightforward. Step one, melt the chocolate. Step two, blend up the silken tofu. Step three, combine it all together. Then put it in a glass or a little bowl and leave it in the fridge for about 30 minutes to set. Done. Top it with granola if desired. See how easy it is to get protein on a vegan diet? Really not that challenging. In fact, protein is in almost every single food we consume. Obviously, some foods have more protein than others. So for example, legumes such as those chickpeas, and tofu, which also comes from beans. Other good sources are meat replacements, pea protein, protein powders, and seitan. But as I said, even just vegetables contain some protein. It's very, very unlikely that you'll become deficient, unless you just don't eat enough. So why vegan? Well. Because everything that you can get non-vegan, I can get vegan. I love making my own snacks, but honestly, our cupboards, our fridge, our freezer, they're full of stuff. And in the process, by buying these things, I reduce animal suffering, pollution, 
deforestation and inefficient land and water usage. In fact, animal agriculture is one of the leading contributors of climate changing emissions. The United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization has stated that animal agriculture is responsible for 14.5% of human-induced emissions, which makes animal products more damaging than the fuel emissions from every car, plane, bus, truck, train and ship on the planet. This is mad. Animal agriculture uses 85% of our farmland, but provides only 18% of our calories, making it highly inefficient. It also uses most of agriculturally available water, requiring 9,000 litres to produce one pound of beef, compared to just 60 litres to produce one pound of potatoes. So, what difference does one person make over a lifetime? Well, if all the other factors have not sunk in, here's one to remember. It saves over 7,000 animals, which is pretty mad. So what can you do today? Whether or not you go vegan is up to you. It's not for everyone. And I think it's a privilege for me to be able to embrace this lifestyle. However, even just changing one day or one meal a week into a vegan one is a great thing to do and it will make an impact. Anyway, my favorite recipe is still to come. Banana Amaretto Loaf. For my final recipe, the Banana Amaretto Loaf, you'll need, well, three very, very ripe bananas. You'll need some cinnamon, some optional but highly recommended chocolate chips, and amaretto. Whilst the alcohol does cook off during the baking process, you can replace the amaretto if you really want to. Use some maple syrup and maybe some vanilla essence instead. How are we making this high protein? Well, we're not just using any flour. We're again using chickpea flour. We'll also be adding some seeds, so some chia seeds, some flax seeds, and feel free to add some hemp as well to boost that protein content. Full quantities and the recipe will again be in the description. All I wanna say is that you make just one recipe of these three, it should be this one because it is bomb. After all your wet and dry ingredients have been combined, put it in a greased baking dish, put it in the oven, leave it in there for about an hour until a fork or toothpick comes out clean, and then let it cool just a little before digging in. You'll eat the whole thing in one go, but that's all right. It'll be good for you. Anyway, that's it for this week's rambles. That's it for this week's recipes. I'm not one to normally do recipe videos, so definitely let me know if you like this video by giving me a thumbs up, by leaving me a little comment. I will see you guys next week. I hope you have a lovely week. I hope you try out these recipes. If you do, definitely tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see what you get up to. See you guys soon.